Psalms chapter 71. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. God is to be your trust. Nothing else. Not man, not uh, material things. God is to be your trust. Let me never be put to confusion. God is not the author of confusion, the Bible says in Corinthians. Confusion is when you have no idea what you're doing or what's happening. You don't know where, where you're going. You don't know what, what you should do. That's confusion. Uh, deliver me in thy righteousness. You know, you can send an army over to be delivered, but only God will, will deliver you in righteousness, what is right, the holy way. Listen, you, when you're, you're in trouble as a Christian, don't go running to the bank. Don't go running to other people and look for worldly kind of help and deliverance. Look to the Lord to deliver you. Well, what if somebody, you know, need, I need someone, I need someone's help for them. God will, God will provide that person in your life that you need to help without you asking. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? The Lord knows your, your situation. The Lord knows who can help you and who can't help you. The person you're thinking of may not help you or may have strings attached to your help. Maybe the Lord wants to bless somebody else on your behalf and cause me to escape troubles and problems well all they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution you're not going to escape it unless it's the rapture or death incline thy ear unto me and save me now, that's a proper prayer that's that was Peter the Lord kind of come out and everything was was great one he steps out of the boat starts walking on the water then the waves and the storm starts up and he cries out to Jesus save me that's the shortest prayer in the Bible. Be thou a strong inhabitation. Do you live where the Lord is? Is your home, your place of dwelling, God's? Or do you dwell somewhere else? Are you living in the world or are you living of the world? Of the world means you got to make a living. You gotta have a job. You gotta go to the store and buy some food and stuff like that. It amazes me all these grocery stores now the, the complete alcohol contact of the shelves, but you know I can't say I can't work in a store because they have booze. But I don't have part in that booze. I don't drink it. I don't personally sell it. My habitation is of God, not the world, not Satan. Whereunto I may continually resort. Well, a lot of people go to their resorts and casinos. But they don't go to God for a resort, for, for a resting place, a, 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 a time out from the world, if, you, if I can say that. A place where, where everything will be provided for, for you by God. Thou hast given commandment to save me well you take that with Job 1 and 2 God commanded Satan that you can go in so far for thou art my rock strong and my fortress a dwelling place a, a place of protection a place where the world can't come in the enemy can't can't violate Deliver me again. Oh my God. Now that's the words are said in trouble. It's not OM it's not OMG, it's oh my God. When you got a serious situation, it's life or death, uh extreme pain, it's oh my God. I got a message in my thing about OMG. Lazy people. You are a kindergartner if you use OMG. These way these people talk on, on, on Facebook and all that, you sound like a babbling idiot. You're trying to talk a, a talk that is not you. 
And then you turn around and joke, oh, I gotta press one for English. Why? You ain't talking English on the computer. Oh my God. And yes, it's a sin. Abbreviating God's name. You better repent. Out of the hand of the wicked. The wicked. Satan himself. Job. When those Christians that do right and, and, and take a beating from, from, from Satan, like the church in the land, and then God delivers them, gives them victory. Where the, where the meeting said, hey, we ain't going to do nothing. That's their right. God can get you out of the wicked, not you. Don't you think you're going to go squirt uh, Satan in hell with a, with a squirt gun? And I wouldn't laugh at that because I've heard a preacher say it. Well, I'm going to take on Satan. I had one guy somewhere at one time come up to me. Have you taken on Satan? Well, no. I, don't, I avoid him with all costs. He comes to me. I don't go to him. Out of the hand of the unrighteous. And cruel men. So you got Satan. You got the unrighteous. Those who are on Satan's side. Who are not on God's side. And cruel men. David told God one time. He said listen let me fall in the hands of the Lord. Not with the hands of man. Because man is cruel. You think God's ever come up with a way to torture somebody? No. Man came up with that idea. You think God came up with all these weapons of mass destruction? No, man came up with them. For thou art my hope, the blessed hope, Titus 2.13, the Lord Jesus Christ, coming. O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. You know, we all know the story of David. We know that story well. A young boy, we don't know how old, but went up against a giant. A young boy who went against a, a, a lion and a bear. You run that trust from the youth. That's why he conquered those, those three beings, which are a type of the Antichrist. His father, Jesse, had something to do with David growing up in the Lord or his mother. Somebody had something to do with David that he from the youth served the Lord and knew was right. Out of eight brothers, David being the eighth, seven were passed up. By thee, God, have I been holding up from the womb. Oh, imagine if David's mother would have aborted him. David, David's claim is from the womb, God's been with him. That was the same call for, for uh, Samuel and for Jeremiah. But in America, you just freely just get rid of what you don't want. Yeah? Maybe your revival you wanted was, was, was boarded. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. And bowels is not a, a movement. As the doctors will describe, it's inside of a woman. What is the bowels? The inside, the ovary. The Bible describes the word exactly how the word is, inside. Not a verb. Not action. When you want that kind of thing, the Bible says dumb. My praise shall be continually of thee. Well, how many Christians are going to be, what, next week, something like that? It's going to be praising a bunch of numbers <coughs> on a church day. How many Christians will go to those stands and will not be out passing out gospel tracts? When we went last time, well, oh, oh, I'm a Christian. Well, what are you doing? You ain't doing the Lord's work. I am as a wonder unto many. 
Dr. Rockman claims that is his, one of his verses. I claim that verse too. People look at me. Christians look at me. What, what are you? But thou, God, art my strong refuge. You know, people are going to look at you and say, what is, what is it about you? You don't need to wear a pin that says, I'm a Christian. Your life, if you live the Bible, live what you're supposed to, they're going to look at you like you're, you're an oddball. You don't fit in. And no, I'm not saying let my light shine. I'm saying that your testimony, your life, if it's Christ-like, they will recognize it. They will see you within time as, you know what? You don't fit in. Too many Christians fit in. And then they're the ones, oh, I let my light shine. Pfft, yeah, right. No way. They don't recognize it. You tell the same jokes and, uh, and waste of time just like they do. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all day. Give God the praise. Give God the honor. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Oh. You mean don't rely on Social Security? Rely on God first. Old age is coming. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. Now, I listen, Social Security, you paid into it. You deserve it. But don't make that your goal. Don't make that your, your source of living. Let it be God. God can take that. What the government has spent on you and, and used and abused, God can take care of you better. And when your strength has failed, then you can't work. May God be your trust. For my enemies speak against me. Get used to that. And they that wait for my soul take counsel together. There are going to be people against you. Get used to that. All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Saying, God has forsaken him. Why? Because he's in trouble. He's got problems. I mean, what, you know, God, what kind of God is that? He gives you problems and cause that. He gives pro everybody problems, have problems. It's because of sin. He may be chastising us for because he loves us, Hebrews says. And take him. Then God has forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver. All right, now that God is against him, God has forsaken him. Let's go get him. O oh God, be not far from me. Oh my God, make haste for my help. He wants the Lord up there close to him. He's crying out. He's in danger. He's in trouble. People are coming after him. They think that God has forsaken him. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. Can you claim that verse? Christian, our people are after you. Per I mean, you got troubles, you got problems. Woe is me, get the violin. Have you got the problems that David has? Has people gone to a city council and mentioned your name to get rid of you and to shut you up? Or you didn't, you didn't get that promotion, or you didn't get you know the the the, the first prize, or you didn't get the the key to the washroom. Oh, that's not persecution. But when people got you marked because you're living a a, a right life, and when God is chasing you, or, lo, or God is giving you troubles in your in your life, whatever reason, whether it be yourself, whether it be God, or it be Satan, people turn around and use it against you. Look at Job and his three friends. You better, you know, Peter says in the long run, I'm not quoting, but listen, you can suffer righteously or you can suffer as a fool. 
Suffer righteously. You'll get no reward for being an idiot. When you go to a, a place that you don't belong rightfully and lawfully, and you do something in Christ's name, and then you're arrested, that was stupid. But the law, if the law allows it, and they try to stop you, go in with full prayer. Go in there with praising God. Well, what if, what if they tell me I can't preach and stuff like that? Well, the Bible tells you to preach. And Peter and J James and John went and preached, even though they t were told not to. Well, they went to jail and they got beat. Yeah, you got to suffer for doing right. All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. Even in troubles, even when people are against you. More prayer, more praise to God. Continually. Don't stop. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness, testimony to the Lord, and thy salvation all the day long. For I know not the numbers thereof. You know, David said there, he says, you can't count the blessings of the Lord. I'm just going to talk to the Lord all day, everything he's done for me, and I can't number them. He has a personal testimony. I will go in the strength of the Lord God, not your strength. You know, you might get a bug. You might get the flu. And where is your strength? You're lying in bed, throwing up, getting sick. And you can't move, and you're tired, and you're aching sore. That's man's strength. You go in God's strength, you can do. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. He talks about God. What's that hymn? Let me tell you. Let me tell you the story. Oh God. Thou hast taught me from my youth. See, David didn't let the public school systems teach him. The public school system, they were taught him out of God. He learned from God. That little shepherd boy took care of the sheep and all that. Had We saw from his youth early in, the, in this chapter, he sought the Lord and talked to the Lord while he was taking care of those sheep. And I bet you if he wandered one day, he'd say, Lord, why on earth did this bear and this lion come up to me? Why, Lord? I'm just a little boy trying to protect the sheep. You sent those two animals this way. And he never knew, never saw a Goliath yet. Oh, God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous work. David talked the testimony of the Lord. Now also when I am old and gray-headed. We already saw about being old. Oh God, forsake me not. You ought to be starting to pray for your old age now. You say, ridiculous. David's doing it. Lord, there's coming a day when there'll probably be no more income. Man, you take care of me, Lord. You better be tithing and giving to others. Don't expect God to give to you when you don't give back to God. Forsake me not. David has a little fear of, of, of being old. Until I have showed my strength. Unto this generation, now, today, right now, in David's life, I will show what's going on with the, what the muscles I have in the Lord. And thy power to everyone that is to come. David's going to speak of the Lord and speak about the Lord and everything of the Lord. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Higher than anybody else's. It's 100% perfect. Who has done great things? God has done great things. Genesis 1. All the things that he done to Egypt. All the things he will do with the Lord Jesus Christ from a miraculous uh, birth. Oh God, 
Who is like unto thee? No one. Absolutely no one. You couldn't, pay, you couldn't even begin to compare God with anything. Or anyone. Thou which has showed me great and sore trouble. Uh-oh. Prosperity Gospel don't like that one. And you can go read the troubles in David's life. And they didn't last a day. They didn't last a week. They lasted for months and for years. Shall quicken me again, make alive. And shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. That's the resurrection. David defies the Jehovah Witness teaching. Hey, the grave is it. David says, I'm coming out of that dirt. I may die, but I'm going to be rising up again. Job said that. He said to something like, my eyes shall see. Thou shalt increase my greatness. He's going to be prince under Jesus Christ in the millennium. You know, you don't hear much about that being pro or preached and teach in, in churches. That we're going to see. I mean, we, oh, what about the tribulation? What about the tribulation? Six, 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 six. Who cares? I'm not going to be there. I'm going to miss that. Let's hear about David, the prince, and Jesus Christ in the millennium. I'm going to be there for that. With Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the 12 tribes. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. You guys seek your comfort from God. God will give you that peace. It's a fruit of the Spirit. I will also praise thee with the psaltery. Even thy truth. Thy word is truth. John 17, 17. O oh my God, unto thee will I sing with the harp. David was musical. And when he was musical as a talent, he gave it to the Lord. He didn't give it to Satan in the world. O oh thou Holy One of Israel, the God of Israel, that is to be your God. If your God's against the Jew and against the nation of Israel, you got the wrong God. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee. And my soul which thou hast redeemed, bought back. Purchased back from Satan. David's been redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness. Talking about the Lord. All the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame and seek my hurt. It's all about speaking. It's all about a testimony. It's our mouths for Jesus Christ, for God, and God only. Not sports, not weather, not politics, to be about God. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing, sent him to die, 
I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art How great thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee how great the Lord, how great the Lord. When Christ shall come.